it's a good idea it's a good idea to strap your helmet on when you uh, need to because stuff can be bad you know what a dummy what a dummy man Whew. good thing I just thought about it something felt weird something felt off the fact that my helmet was not strapped in. My Bojourno, my friends, Bojourno, this is Naked Bike Mike. Back with you again. With another. What was this guy doing? Make up your mind. I'm not gonna pass you in a turn. Let's just relax. Wait till, wait till, wait till I get there, man, and I'll, I'll, I'll take care of the business. What's this guy doing? Check on my zippers. How many zippers do I got? I got a lot of zippers. Yeah, pockets, leg zippers, boot zippers, pocket zippers. What's this guy doing? I think he's turning. Okay. I'm trying to get out here on a early morning ride on one of my favorite roads to kind of, you know, chill out a little bit. Relax. Get some Let's stay in third. Let's see how that goes. Out here in the 219 it is. Shoals area, I guess. Uh, just uh, north of Newburgh, Oregon. It's a nice little Sunday ride. Try to get out early so the cars aren't as prevalent. Because I don't like the, the, the four wheels riding around me. I prefer having no cars on the road when I am on my two wheels because it's less stuff to think about. I like to just cruise along here and it's a little cool out and uh, yeah that's, that's what I like I like I had having a car in front of me and then they're worried oh what's she doing uh, I gotta go slower I gotta go faster I gotta get out of the way I felt a little gravel there Ooh, I felt a little bumpities Yeah, put it in sport mode. Let's put it in the sport mode. Oh, most where I'm doing close throttle sport mode. There we go. On the fly, man. That's one of the beautiful things of the Ducati electronics. You can do it on the fly. You don't have to stop and press buttons and wait and stop. Blah, blah, blah. You can just do what you want, close the throttle, <clears throat> and away you go. I, I, don't pull out. Don't pull out. Oh, come on. You saw me coming. What the frick? I'm going to pass him illegally because I don't want to, I don't want to sit behind him. Come on. Don't try that at home. Um, the clouds are keeping it a little cool, which is nice. It's always nice to have a little chill. A little chill. I don't know, what, what's the throttle temperature? I forgot, I can see that. 57 degrees throttle air temperature. So it is a little, a little cool. Not too cool. Too cool for school. <laughs> Okay. The sights and the sounds of the Street Fighter before as I can't wait to, to uh, break get this breaking this period finished, so I don't have to. Uh, not really baby it, but 
people have different different trains of, or different schools of thought different schools people go to different school all the time and some people say break it in hard ride it like you stole it ride it like you're racing it all the time and then some people say follow the manufacturer's instructions follow what the guidelines say in the owner's manual if you don't do that your engine will explode at the after the break-in period if you do not follow the manufacturer's guidelines specifically the RPM range your engine will not survive the, the break-in period at, at the at the 621 mile point it will implode and explode at the same time that's why you need to follow what the manufacturer says so, but yeah I kind of do that to his point I'm not too crazy I just I don't know they 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 say it for a reason I guess I would think I, maybe the, the one thing is because you know since it's a new engine they just built it there's some metal there's always going to be a little bit of metal particles from the machining and all that stuff. They don't. Everything is not like super clean. It's clean. It's, it, I'm sure it's pretty clean, but there's going to be some leftover material. And uh, in the first 600 and something miles before you get your oil changed, you keep it below that RPM. You don't have that chance of super. Like really, if you bring up the, if you rev it too high, the possibility of the the particles getting floating around a little bit more, getting higher into the engine. I don't know. So it kind of makes sense to just chill out and get your oil change after 600 miles or 1,000 kilometers, and you're good to go. So. I will do my best to keep it under six grand. You know, I've gone, I think the most I've had this up to RPM range would be probably seven or eight for a, for a few seconds, but nothing too crazy. I did my best. I want to wave at the Raptors. For some reason, it's weird. I'm so used to the raptors because I have a raptor waving at me. So when I see one, it's like, oh, what? hey, I'm gonna wave at him. He's gonna be like, what's this guy on a motorcycle waving at me for? What's his problem? We will venture out on the next video. Next video will be a different, different route. I think I'm gonna go Clackamas, Clackamas River Highway. Take out there. Nice out there. Get a get a some some mileage, some nice uh, scenery along the river there, and then uh, we'll see see how it turns out. That will be the the maiden voyage with the new hero, GoPro hero, and the media mod and that setup. probably use this helmet because it seems like this helmet has better audio there's more room in front of my mouth and the audio sounded less clean off the bugs the audio sounded less muted or muffled everything sounds muffled with the earplug so it's hard to tell I was screaming a little bit because I was don't know I'm still checking it out so I was just screaming no 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 Whew. man don't want to take out a squirrel second second gear that's what I want uh, that's what I want uh. 
lazily shifting here. All right. Anyway, anyway, anyway that you want it. That's how you need it. And that's not the words of the song. And that's how I sing it. Because that's what I want. I want it. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. I thought so. I thought so. Uh. So there was a. Let's just say that's it. Uh, we'll do a. We'll do a goodbye. For now. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. Hit me oh this hopefully that the, my angle is right again because last night it was pretty good. You get a good view here. Um thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you next time. Arrivederci, a ciao. And goodbye my friends. We'll see ya later. Hopefully the whistling the whistling is not there this time. I'm hoping. But we'll see. Ciao. Oh, ciao, ciao, ciao. Yeah.